This video will be a walkthrough of all the statistics widgets, except the screener widget and the spot vol correlation widget, both of which have their own videos. The exposure charts are the soul of Voland, and all these statistics widgets are derived from established formulas and Voland data. These widgets are designed to give context to the other data in Voland, but are not designed to be actionable in itself necessarily. The first widget is the zero DTE widget, which gives the current zero DTE paradigm, the lines in the sand and targets, the total charm hedging, including the charm hedging from existing positions, and the option volume for zero DTE options for the underlying here. So for SPX currently, the zero DTE option volume is 2.1 million options. For more information on the paradigms, lines in the sand and targets, refer to the user guide, white paper, and the zero DTE video. The charm hedging is based on charm changes from today's traffic only, meaning it resets to zero at the end of the day. It is also based on one day left until expiration, which clearly is not the case as time comes closer to expiration. This just helps give a general idea of how negative or positive charm is for today's options. The zero DTE volume is the number of options traded for today's expiration on the underlying. The next widget is the ticker widget, which gives the price of the underlying, the VIX calculation of the underlying, which means that Voland is the place you can get VIX calculations for individual stocks, the underlying equity notional volume, and the total hedging below that is an estimation of the hedging needed to satisfy all Greeks in the underlying. When you compare the total hedging with the notional equity volume, it signals how important dealer hedging is to the movement of the stock. In this case, SPX is an index, so there is no equity notional volume. You use ES in order to determine that for SPX alone. Do not look at total hedging and think that is how much of the underlying needs to be hedged. It is a notional calculation based on all Greeks full hedging. And as we know, dealers do not hedge Vega, Gamma, or Theta religiously. It is designed to give context to how much dealers will impact the underlying. The next four statistic widgets, right here, 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 and here, break down the hedging required by dealers for the day. The most important number out of these is the daily delta hedging, as it accounts for all hard and soft deltas hedging for the day and would represent the closest approximation to the total dealer hedging needed for the day. Many times the hedging is done throughout the day. We have no way of determining how much dealers are hedged at any given time, but this does help give an idea of the changes each of these Greeks are undergoing in the dealer book for the day, both in hard and soft deltas. I will also call out a little bit the charm number right here, the daily charm hedging. This is accounting for both hard and soft deltas of existing positioning. The charm calculation on the zero DTE widget here is just for zero DTE volume. So many times you will find them adding up to a number close to zero, which is why we think a lot of zero DTE traffic is dealers hedging the rest of their book. The next widget is the aggregate Greek trend right here to show the value of these aggregate Greeks over the past six months in the underlying you use this widget. The two that I pay most attention to are Vanna since that is a leading indicator on the intermediate basis of the market movement and Gamma right here. This is a solid volatility indicator on an intermediate basis as well. Many users have found day-to-day -day delta changes to give some context for market moves and show possible overnight moves when the delta changes are very different from the market moves. The next widget is the dealer premium positioning. This gives an idea of how much cash dealers have from a zero DTE standpoint based on their total positioning. This helps show how cash rich the dealers are right now and how much of that cash can be used to help with their hedging. Typically large positive numbers will dampen volatility and large negative numbers will create volatility similar to gamma. It is currently three o'clock on May 13th, 2025. And we have been floating within about a 10 point range of 5,900 for a while now. So you could see how the positive dealer premium could have been an indicator for such action. The last statistic widget is all about liquidity. The Delta Adjusted Dealer Spread, or DADS as we call it, is showing how much edge dealers are demanding on average. The higher this number is, the less liquid the options market is. 
In a typical low volatility market, dads tends to be between eight to 16, maybe hanging around the 13, 14 region. We just had a period of high volatility. So seeing 29 is actually a welcome site. It used to be around 45 only a month ago. This number is showing you the average of all open trades in dealer spreads. So this will come down a lot slower than implied volatility will come down because of how the existing positioning may have some still wide spreads on it. However, if you want to see how spreads are on the zero DTE standpoint, you can look here. This is reset every day, and this is called the Delta Adjusted Premiums. Both of these are basically taking the spread between our fair value and the execution price and multiplying it times the reciprocal of delta. The reason why we do the reciprocal of delta is because out of the money options tend to have much tighter spreads. So to have a wider spread in an out of the money option will be more of a signal of bad liquidity. Thanks for watching and may Volen help you in your future trading ventures.